Mitchell. Dark Stars is the story of an unlikely black actor seeking his big break, who's propelled by misfortune to a tiny island in the South Pacific where he unearths the forgotten tales of Irving Sales, a 19th century African-American performer who became Australia's most popular entertainer. Joining us now to tell us more about the show playing at the Ox Dog and the tour that will follow is Jonathan Council, the actor, creator of the show. Jonathan, this is amazing. You and I just talking here a few minutes right. ago. You have a pretty incredible story. <laughs> and it's pretty incredible how it's very similar to a story that happened 100 years ago. Exactly. So, so tell us a little bit about Dark Stars. Dark Stars is basically about a story about my life as an actor mm -hmm. and the act and the life of Irving Sales. Irving Sales was an African-American performer, again, like you just mentioned, who left Chicago because of no work, because of racism, Jim Crow laws, and decided to move to Australia where he became the most popular entertainer in Australia, a wow. superstar in Australia and in New Zealand. Uh -huh. And you had a similar, so you, you were in New York. You were from New York. Yeah. You had a similar deal. You said, I'm going to get out of New York. Yeah. I'm going to go. You go to Australia. I go to Australia. Because I realized that one doesn't have to be in these centers, Chicago, mm -hmm. LA, New York, mm -hmm. to find work. Mm -hmm. Um, there's work as an artist everywhere. If I knew, I mean, Albuquerque, a thriving, yeah. thriving theater community. You have Ox Dog, you have all mm -hmm. these theaters happening. Mm -hmm. If I knew about Albuquerque 15 years ago, I might have been here in Albuquerque, okay. this thriving theater community. Yeah, it, it really is. You know, yeah. I mean, per capita, we, I've, it's something that I've always been very proud of. Right. So um, I'm curious as to, to how, you found, uh, how you found the story of Irving Sales. And I mean, it's really uncanny how it very mirrors. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm almost like, are you your reincarnation of? Like, you know almost. what I mean? Because it's, it's amazing, the story almost. of the similarities. Yes. Well, I've, I was living in New Zealand and looking for work, and a friend of mine from New York just emailed me this picture of this man, mm -hmm. Irving Sales, and I started to just research his life. And then I got in touch with the number one playwright in New Zealand, mm -hmm. Arthur Meek, and he and I got together. He thought it was a great idea, and he and I started to collaborate on this piece. Okay. And it just blossomed to the, we started touring all over Australia and New Zealand, mm -hmm. winning on awards, and it's just been an amazing experience. And I just realized that as actors, as performers, one doesn't have to really wait for things to happen, mm -hmm. create your own work. Yeah, absolutely. And there, there have been so many people in the industry that have done just right. that, working either in theater, film, music, right. whatever it is. So now, now you said that this is toured in Australia. You're getting ready to start a tour in North America. Is that right? In North America, we're going from to L.A., Chicago, Philadelphia, and then we just got a call from Denmark. Really? <laughs> Denmark wants to see the show. So I'm like, that's great. So it's pretty exciting. That's great. So what made you choose Albuquerque to kick it off? Because it's. Um, I was here visiting here for two days last year, and I was just visiting all these theaters and visiting Ox Dog, and I realized that again that it's a thriving theater community, mm -hmm. and I really wanted to. My whole point, Chad, as an as an actor, is to concentrate on theater communities. It mm -hmm. doesn't matter where they are in the world, right? And you guys got a great, a lot's happening here. Yeah. Yeah, they're sure. Yeah, yeah. And you hear a good time during Balloon Fiesta, too. So yep, you can get out yeah. and see some balloons. Well, I guess, in, in fact, I've got friends from Australia and New York who are here. Really? To see Dark Stars at Ox uh -huh. Dog as well as the Balloon Festival. Well, there so. you go. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. All right, so Ox Dog, when do we open? How long are we running? So we can uh, see we're this. opening on Friday and we're running for three weekends through the 24th. I through believe. the 24th. Okay, yeah. fantastic. Yeah. Jonathan. This sounds like such an incredible show. I can't <laughs> wait to see it, guys. For more information on Dark Stars, playing at the Ox Dog, opening this Friday, head over to Casa.com. We will have all the links there. Thank you for bringing this uh, work to Mexico. It's been a pleasure. It's really appreciate it. Yeah. yeah, absolutely.